This question might look hard, but with Desmos, it is so, so simple. We're told the given expression can be written in this form for integer constants P, Q, R, S, and T. What is the minimum possible value of Q times R? So all we have to do for this question is realize we need to try to factor out as much as we can from this equation. That way we can minimize all of these constants. So what is the biggest constant that we can factor out of those three numbers? Well, we can come to Desmos and write 30, 159, and then 189 in a GCD list, and it'll tell us if we can factor out three. So I'll then write that 30x to the power of 4 plus 159x squared plus 189 is going to be equal to 3 times qx squared plus r times sx squared plus t. Now, all I have to do is come into Desmos and actually write this. So we need to use a x1 and tilde for this because we're going to have Desmos guessing constants for us. So I'll write 30x1 to the power of 4 plus 159x1 squared plus 189 is equivalent to 3 times qx1 squared plus r times sx1 squared plus t. Now, all I need to do is first set x1 equal to a list of different values so that we can be sure that this will be true for all values of x. And then ask myself, what are the combinations of q and s that are going to be possible? Well, they're going to need to multiply by 10 because when I factor out a 3 here, this 30 will turn into 10. So my possible values are 1 and 10, then 2 and 5, 5 and 2, and 10 and 1. So I'm going to start by saying that we have q equaling 1. Right? So if Q is 1, it looks like one of our answers isn't a isn't an integer, right? So that wouldn't work. Now, if I try Q is 2, it says again that one of our answers is not an integer. So that's not going to work. Now, if I say Q is 5, it looks like we have Q and R are going to be 5 and 9, which is 45. So we say, okay, great, that works. But we also have this S and T. Now, I know that it's not asking us for S and T, but look, this factor of sx squared plus t is the same as the factor of qx squared plus r. It's just something x squared plus some constant. So this s and t can count. 2 times 7 is 14. So that's actually so far the smallest value we'll get for q times r, right? Instead, it's just s and t, but it is the same thing. Now, if I try q is 10, again, we're going to have something that is not an integer. So the lowest thing we got was 14, and therefore our answer is 14.